I hate those awkward moments. That awkward silence you have. Maybe you're talking to that girl. You're finally talking to that girl that you daydream about. And then it comes to that moment. The conversation's flowing smoothly, but then it suddenly stops. You suddenly have no idea what to say. And then there it is. That awkward silence. Or maybe, maybe it's something else. Maybe you are in the shower. You're thinking, you're humming off to yourself in your own little world. And then you think back three years ago. That awkward moment you said to that group of friends where everyone looked at you strangely. You said something a bit weird and everyone starts looking at you. You literally stamp your foot on the ground and you think to yourself, why did I say something so awkward? Oh, that was such an awkward moment. Oh, gross. Even though it was three years ago and no one remembers. Whenever we're in that group, that friendship group, and we're so worried about being awkward or socially awkward, socially anxious, that we're thinking that, oh, you know, it's bad. It's bad if we have this awkward silence. It's not a good thing. And you start worrying about it, even though it's normal. First things first, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. Look, I get it. Now, I'm going to tell you my story. You know, I went through plenty of moments where I had awkward silences and it felt horrible, especially you're talking one-on-one. Maybe it's with that girl that you fancy or maybe it's the guy. You have awkward moments and you hate it. You hate awkward silences. I mean, it's normal to feel uncomfortable when things are quiet or maybe you're so socially anxious and worried about messing up, about having an awkward moment. Something that you'll know that you'll think about for the next two, three weeks. Yeah, I get it. I completely understand. That's how I can describe this in such depth because I went through years of this. It sucks feeling awkward. It's uncomfortable. And do you know why? It's because we think it's not normal. We think that having an awkward silence, a moment that it's just quiet, that that's unhealthy. So therefore, it's bad. It is bad when things get quiet. When you have a pause in a conversation, it's bad to be having those awkward silences. It's not normal, even though it is. Feeling awkwardness is a normal part of life. And once you understand this, once you embrace the fact that, yeah, awkward moments, feeling awkward, that's normal. It makes you very, very self-aware once you understand that. And it can also help you break out of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to feel uncomfortable. It's just an opportunity for you to grow and to learn something new. And that leads on to how I actually learned to embrace awkwardness so that I didn't feel uncomfortable, that I didn't feel socially anxious. And that is be open to new experiences. Do not be afraid of being uncomfortable. Have an open mind towards new things, new experiences. Maybe that new friendship group that you've just become a part of is inviting you out to river jumping. You've never ever done it before. You're an introvert, you're always inside, and you're you're scared. You're worried. Have an open mind. Be open to new experiences. Another thing that I learned that helped me embrace awkwardness is embracing imperfection. There is a book that I've read multiple, multiple times, and I absolutely love it. You might have to use a brain cell to flip that because it might be backwards, I don't know. But it's Wabi Sabi from Beth Kempton. The Japanese wisdom for a perfectly imperfect life. Wabi Sabi, if you said that to any Japanese person who spoke Japanese, they would tell you that that basically means finding imperfection in perfection. It's to do with nature. It's basically, that's what they would tell you. There's no definite, like, description. They would just tell you that that's perfection in imperfection. That's it. Embrace imperfection. No one is perfect. Look, social media certainly doesn't help with this. This idea that we have to be putting up our best all the time. That if you're not putting up your best, that that that's bad. That if you have an awkward silence, that that's bad. That if you are socially anxious, that's bad. Even though it's not. No one's perfect. And that's what makes this so helpful. The worries that you have right now about those awkward pauses, those awkward moments... That awkward silence, that social anxiety. You're not the only one. No one's perfect. Everyone has the same fear as you. Probably that person you're talking to. The next time you're talking to someone, maybe it's that girl you daydream about. 
and you're getting into a conversation things are flowing well but then it gets to that awkward silence that a moment of just silence and you're feeling awkward not sure what to say it's not just you it's probably her as well and that leads on to my next thing laugh at yourself look there are times where things are going horribly you know that life is just not going well and this actually helps with a lot of the things not just those awkward times it helps with a lot being able to look back at your awkward history your awkward past those moments where you you look back to something that you said or did three years ago and then you get that moment of cringe or awkwardness like oh why did i do that why did i say that think back and laugh at it laugh at those moments when you next think of that like oh why did i say that brother what was wrong with me (laughs) i was a weird guy you know but that's fair enough i just changed how i reacted how i felt emotionally to that moment i thought about just by simply laughing at it and it works with other things you know there are times where i'm driving back you know i'm driving home i ride a motorcycle i'm driving home and it's raining there's puddles everywhere and i didn't see this one puddle i drive through it and i'm drenched i'm wet i'm soaking i'm wearing nice clothes and it's now all wet i got wet socks now we all know how much that sucks wet socks Ooh, squelch and squelch as you walk brother ah boo, boo. <laughs> and i'd feel angry at the time i'm like oh fuck i didn't see that and then after 30 seconds i'd start laughing like okay you know what i'm already wet may as well get as wet as possible may as well drive in every puddle may as well have fun with it i start laughing at myself this is actually quite a funny situation to be in and i end up enjoying it i go home with a smile on my face i get into a shower i get dressed go to bed life's good instead of going to bed angry the next thing that i've learned that has helped me embrace awkwardness to stop having those awkward moments is a positive mindset I don't view awkwardness as a bad thing. I don't view it as a negative thing. I view it as a positive thing. Something where I feel uncomfortable. A certain time where I feel uncomfortable. I take it as a moment of reflection where I can learn from it and grow from it. I have a positive mindset towards these things. Maybe you're talking with someone. You mention something and it becomes an uncomfortable conversation. Turns out they've got a bit of history with it. This certain topic you're talking about. You know what? Okay, I've learned. This is not a topic to talk about. I won't mention it in the future. You change the topic. You think positively towards these moments. And the last one, by far the most important one that's helped the most difference, is embrace discomfort. We view social anxiety, awkward moments with friends, those awkward silences, pauses, as a bad thing. Uh, It's not normal that you always have to be talking. And yeah, I used to think this all the time and it sucked. Even though it's normal. You know, there are times with a couple of exes where... We'd be talking, you know, in the cafe, and then it would get to an awkward silence, and I'd just get back to working on my laptop, editing, whatever it is I'm doing. And I didn't feel awkward at all. I knew it kind of the conversation died out, and we got to an awkward silence, but I embraced discomfort. I was confident, I'm happy in sitting in silence. So I just went to editing. She went to reading, and we just kept doing our own thing. Yeah, it was an awkward silence, but it wasn't awkward to me. Truly confident people are people who are okay with silence, who are okay with not needing to say something all the time. You don't have to hold the conversation 24-7. You don't have to be talking 24-7. We wouldn't be able to do that. We would, Our voice would, and our throat would get so dry and tired. It's okay to have quiet moments. They're nice, actually. That's what it is to be truly confident, understanding that awkwardness and awkward silences are normal. But that's okay. I'm happy. I have complete confidence in sitting in silence a great way to practice is to practice this is just by going into a cafe by yourself reading a book having a coffee by yourself it's a great way to practice this you know when i mentioned to a friend like oh i'm just going to the cafe you know gonna grab coffee sit down read edit he looked at me and he was like by yourself i looked at him back like yeah so what's wrong with that <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what well, boy, don't you get uncomfortable? No. I used to, yeah, but not anymore. What's wrong with sitting in silence? After learning to embrace awkwardness, understanding that it's a normal part of life, I didn't become awkward anymore. And it always helped me with my social anxiety. It feels weird that this tiny little change in mindset helped with social anxiety. 
But if you think about it, you're thinking so much more positively towards something that we all think negatively about. So it kind of makes sense. Don't fear being uncomfortable. Hopefully this helped you out. And I hope things have been good. I hope things have been alright. And I'd be very appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here. Because this video could help you out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is. Oh yeah, come here. Self-improvement kiss.